testing, everything's coming back ne negative, everything is great. Okay. But now I'm finding, oh no, a few plants over in this corner, now they're infected. Right. Should I do more testing to make sure to kind of mitigate this spread somehow or? Well, if it's surely, if it's a definite positive, I would, I would move it out. I, I would mm -hmm. move it into another room and then uh, decide what you want to do. Uh, don't leave it there. Now, um, it's interesting because I haven't seen any data yet to suggest that the viroid moves very effectively, you know, down, down the row, for example, if, if somebody's walking, you know, they, they say, well, if your clothes brush up against the plant, I don't know that that is sufficient damage to the leaf to, to move properly. It does for many viruses and viroids, but there may be data out there, but I haven't seen it yet. And the reason I say that is because I've, you know, being, I've walked into facilities where they've got a few infected plants here, then everywhere. If this thing was moving with, with people brushing up against the plants, every damn plant in that location would be infected. And that's not the case. We're finding isolated spots here, there, and everywhere that may have been introduced through a, 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 a pruning tool. Sap, sap, the movement of sap is super important. So when you brush up against a plant, there really is no sap coming, being released or, or on your clothes that's going to react on a wound on another plant. But sap on your tools and sap on your gloves. So you've got obvious sap stuck to your gloves and you touch another plant and you damage it, that will transmit it. Mm. Damage is the key. The, the tissue has to be damaged. Uh, usually I think that uh, it has to be, the vascular system has to be exposed. In other words, there has to be a broken vein or a broken off leaf that allows that viroid to, to enter in. I think just putting the viroid on the surface of a leaf and letting it sit, I don't believe is going to cause an infection. Hmm. So you've got to have the wounding and you've got to have the sap and water. So these plants could have picked it up if there was recirculating water that has the viroid in it and, and somehow uh, got into root contact. And then of course the viroid spread uh, within, the, uh, within the plant. So recirculating water is a problem because I haven't seen any treatments yet that work. So mm -hmm. even 100 degrees centigrade heating doesn't do it. Uh, UV doesn't do it. Fluorination doesn't do it. I, I don't know yet what treatments could be made to water to clean it up, recirculating water yet. I mean, there's there's obviously a lot of companies working on that. And eventually we'll have a, an answer. But right now, you have to be super careful with water that's being recirculated from an infected uh, infected mother or plant. Wow. Yeah, that that seems <laughs> that seems like a massive issue. Now, in terms of that, so in addition to testing plants, you should you should be testing your water and your surfaces, your equipment, things like that as well. Yeah, so um, definitely, if you're recirculating and you know you've got a high incidence of hop latent, you're almost guaranteed to to have it in the in the recirculating water. Now we got to remember it's not pure water that has the viroid. It's little flakes of small pieces of roots and organic matter and debris that's come off the roots that's sloughed off that's carrying the viroid in it. Um, and so when the water is recirculated, there's still it's still got little bit of particles and stuff in it that uh, potentially has the has the viroid in it. Uh, we've seen it on surfaces uh, on, for example, on flood tables. So if there's a plant that's sitting on a table and and there's water, you know, up against the roots on the bottom you can find hop latent on the surface of that table, as well as, of course, on tools. For that, cleaning, bleach does a pretty good job, or, or Vercon, uh, 2%, because that comes in direct contact with, with the water or the, you know, the film of water that's on the table. Um, it, it can eliminate hop latent viroid quite effectively on, on tools and on the, on the surfaces of tables. But uh, in terms of what does it do to sap, if there's infected sap, um, I don't know how effective Vercon or bleach are at this stage uh, where you've got visible sap being moved from plant to plant, whether whether those two chemicals will completely eradicate uh, the viroid. But for surfaces, there's definitely materials out there that will work. Excellent. 